everybody, welcome back to another crate location guide here on Tom Clancy's The Division. So today I'm going to be bringing you guys a full starting area guide in the Brooklyn area. Uh, and we're going to be starting from here at the safe house. So this is the very first area you're starting, kind of like the test area just to uh, give you a few easy missions and uh, get used to the mechanics of the game etc. But you can actually use this area to uh, open out. some crates, uh, some standard crates around the map to uh, level up some of your uh, gear and get some good gear before you actually even hit the main game. So the first chest I'm going to show you is very close to the safe house. If you go across the road, jump the fence and just run down this track a little bit, uh, it is literally a case of on your left hand side there's another fence to jump and uh, as you can see down here there is a standard crate right here. Uh, and that will give you some protective gloves. Now that's uh, obviously random every single time, but that's what it gave me. Uh, and yeah, just a really good start. Bit of armor right at the beginning of the game. And as you can see, it is literally a case of just running down here. So uh, yeah, most of these chests are kind of on this side of the map, pretty close to the safe house. It's quite a large area, but uh, it's, you know, one of these things where on the other side of Brooklyn, um, there isn't a lot around. So uh, yeah, I just thought I'd uh, bring this guide to you. There's about seven or eight chests in all. Some are involved in missions, and I'll obviously tell you which one of them uh, are involved in missions. Uh, but I'm pretty sure I got them all. So that was crate number one. Now for crate number two. And again, crate number two is actually not that far away. So this is where the last chest was that we've just opened a second ago. Um, so we're right under the uh, the Brooklyn Bridge by the looks of it. If you head, carry on heading away from the safe house, stick to the right hand side of the map and just literally run up here a few seconds away, nicely hidden in the little um, bush area here by the river. Uh, it's your next crate, it's right there. Uh, so there is two crates to open very, very quickly uh, in the map. And that's just given me a police M4, which is quite a nice weapon actually for this stage of the game. So got myself an upgraded weapon and an upgraded pair of gloves straight away. There is the map reference for you guys. You can see where uh, my trail has come, you can see where I was and uh, where I am now. And there, two crates very quickly, just like that. So, for the next crate, uh, we're a bit further up uh, towards the middle of the map, at the very uh, top as you look at it, away from the safe house. Uh, and there's this big sign here that says restricted. Uh, this is a restricted area kind of thing on Old Dock Street, uh, just off Water Street. Uh, but we're going to be heading to New Dock Street, which is the very far left hand side um, of the map street on Water Street. Uh, so just keep heading all the way up to the very top and then turning down it. And uh, you will hit a dead end eventually, but halfway down it, just behind this white van here, is your next crate. So uh, there is crate number three. Standard gear once again. There is no specialised gear, unfortunately. Uh, and yeah, we've got ourselves some protective pads as well. So looting up nicely right now. Anyone who didn't search for these crates uh, would be leaving Brooklyn area with not a lot of gear. But because uh, we have looked into it a little bit, we've now got three different pieces of uh, items that we wouldn't have got already. So that is crate number three on New Dock Street. Now for our next crate, there are a couple actually in this area, and uh, as this killer song goes, we're on the corner of Main Street, uh, just off Water Street, as you can see Water Street is right there, um, and we are at Main Street. Now there is a hostage rescue mission really close to where we are now. You've actually got to go through that little uh, pipe, subway tunnel, or whatever in front of us. But before you do, there are two crates very close uh, to where you need to go into this mission. So before you actually go down into that sewer pipe, uh, head to the right hand side and up the ramp and just run all the way along this scaffolding. Keep going up these stairs uh, until you hit this final little part of the pretty much the highest you can get. Come down a little bit and uh, there is actually a standard gear crate sat right here. So uh, yeah, the mission tells you to go straight down there and go ho rescue the hostages. But if you actually look around very quickly, uh, you can get yourself another crate. And uh, I got a protective holster from that. Again, level two. Not bad to say we've just started out. Uh, and yeah, like I said, there's, uh, there's actually another crate very close uh, to where this mission actually is. So let's go ahead and find that one. And there is a map reference, by the way, just before you uh, actually go down and get the next one. So again, we are back at the sewer pipe, where we was a minute ago, telling us to go down there and rescue the hostages. But again, before you do, if you head back uh, towards the corner and up this street right here in front of me, Water Street, uh, and run all the way along 
to actually where the, the hostage rescue area is. It's actually on the other side of the fence. Now if you go in and rescue the hostages, you will actually see it pop up on the map. Uh, and it looks like you could get to it from the uh, hostage rescue area. You actually can't. So before you go down there, I just recommend running up Water Street again. Uh, going past all these cars and ambulances and buses. Uh, but get right to the end and just look out for the fence on the left hand side. Uh, you'll see it right now. There's a big lorry at the end of the street blocking you from going any further. There is the hostage rescue area on the other side of these trees. And uh, yeah, there once again is another standard gear crate for you to pick up. So very handy that there's actually two standard gear crates in the same area as uh, you're about to do one of your main story mission. And uh, yeah, I've got myself a protective mask at level two. So go ahead and pick that one up. And once again, there is a map reference. Um, you'll see the underground entrance where you pop up for the hostage rescue mission. So let's go back and uh, go to the hostage rescue mission area now for another crate. So you get this mission uh, pretty early on, I think it's actually the second mission you get given uh, to do and you already know the area obviously because I've just brought you two previous crates around this area but you'll go down into that little underground entrance that you just saw a minute ago at the start of the last two clips uh, and then you'll pop up um, at the next sign which is right here, another underground entrance. There'll be a load of hostiles in this area for you to clear up. Uh, but once you've cleared them up, it will tell you to go and rescue the hostages. So go into this building and just uh, follow the waypoint, open this door up and uh, you will complete the mission by rescuing the Brooklyn uh, civilians. But before you exit and go back and carry on with the mission, there is the other crate sat right here in the, uh, the room where the hostages are being kept. And uh, yeah, once again, there is another weapon for me, so very handy and glad to pick it up. Even if I end up selling it to the vendors, it's a bit of free money anyway. And uh, yeah, there it was once again on the map. Right, next we're pretty much at the other side of the map, uh, and this is part of a side mission where you actually have to uh, go and retrieve some supplies. Uh, pretty sure you can get this absolutely straight away as soon as you start the game. One of the first side missions you can get. Uh, and it's pretty close to the safe house, it's actually just south of the safe house as you, as you bring the map up. Uh, but yeah, it's up right opposite that pizza shop that you just saw, and it tells you to go into a garage and basically just find the supplies. Uh, so it's a hand car wash, but if you run straight into the garage and head behind this desk, your next loot crate is sat right behind it just here. So go ahead and pick that up, and uh, once again we've got ourselves some protective armour. And uh, yeah, from there, just go and uh, mark the supplies for pickup, and that is another crate found. And then finally, this is pretty much the last mission you'll be given in the starting Brooklyn area. Uh, after this, you will be uh, transported to the main game. Uh, and this is the Precinct Siege mission, where you get sent to the police station, and you're told to rescue the hostages. So you've got to battle your way through a load of enemies, but you shouldn't be too bad on that one as you've gone around and picked up all the loot crates I've showed you so far, upgraded your gear a lot. Uh, so yeah, head down and uh, follow the waypoint basically until you get to the, the jail cells um, and there's actually a marker where you can open the cells. Uh, but before you do that, head back down this hallway, jump through this window and head to this armory. Uh, it's clearly marked armory as you can see and inside the armory uh, is a little bit of a restock uh, so you can fill your ammo up which you pretty much want to come here anyway but before you leave there is a loot crate on your left hand side and that is the last loot crate of the Brooklyn area that I have found uh, and yeah it's right there on the map so there you go guys that is a full guide on all of the starting area of Brooklyn loot crate locations, standard gear locations pretty sure I've got every single one there but if anyone knows of any others that I may have missed then please let me know but yeah I just thought this was a really good idea for new players hopefully new players can see this and uh, actually go round or even old players that didn't know about these anyway that want to come back and do another playthrough that is there for you to pick up and uh, yeah, there you go. Really hope this helps. Plenty more guides to come, guys, as well. So don't worry. There's loot crate location guides going to be coming daily from now on. All different kinds as well. So thank you for watching, everyone. Really hope you've enjoyed this full starting area crate location guide. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.